first of all, the Pittsburgh Diocese says it's all for the Healthy Ride campaign put on by Pittsburgh Bike Share. But this particular docking station here that sits right in front of the St. Stanislaus Rectory is what the uh, diocese has a problem with. Pittsburgh Bike Share is rolling right along as a popular cycling option to get around town. Seems like a great way to uh, get around the city, you know, because uh, we're used to kind of walking everywhere. Uh, but the bike just really adds a new dimension to it. 50 docking stations and a total of 500 bikes are strategically placed in several neighborhoods in the city. One of those docking stations sits right in front of St. Stanislaus Rectory in the Strip District. Father Harry Nichols says it's a residence. The concern is it's the presence of it in front of the residence as such, what I think would be. I, I would pose the question to many people, would you want to have uh, have this in front of your residence. <laughs> Put the docking station up with no one saying anything about it, uh, with no discussion or even just telling us that it was going to happen. The Pittsburgh Diocese recently met with the mayor's office about the logistics of docking stations and bike lanes. We want to be a good neighbor, and uh, good neighbors, however, have to talk to one another. And that didn't happen in this case at St. Stanislaus. It's Pittsburgh Bike Share who has to address the concern of the docking station in front of St. Stanislaus. If there are safety concerns, we're happy to engage with uh, the neighbors, the businesses. Do you think there's a safety concern with the docking station in front of St. Stanislaus Rectory? I'm not sure. I haven't seen enough evidence to make that decision. Well, now. Pittsburgh Bike Share, the city, and the diocese plan to have further discussions about this particular docking station. And it's not out of the question that it could be moved, maybe up the block or at another location. Reporting live from the Strip District, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.